as we explained that in the previous classes, the alimentary canal is associated with many structures and on that from the mouth to and so many organs are identified and we discussed about the mouth, oral cavity or buccal cavity. So inside the buccal cavity, teeth and tongue is also present. So teeth we explained in the previous classes. Now I am going to explain about the tongue. What is tongue and what is the importance of tongue in the digestion of food? So tongue is very important structure in the partial digestion of food in the mouth. So here yeah, what is tongue we will see. A tongue is a muscular sense organ. So which is composed with muscular like structures and it is also considered the sense organ. So whenever the person wants to take the food, the person has to taste the food whether it is suitable to take or not into the mouth. So before tasting the food, how the food is tasted here? The tasting of food takes place through the tongue. So that's why it is called a sense organ. So muscular sense organ. Here freely movable, attached to the floor of oral cavity by a fold called frenulum. It is a freely movable character within the oral cavity and it freely moves to the left to right, like right to left and we can also fold to the back side and it is attached to the oral cavity that is floor of oral cavity by a fold called frenulum. It is covered with specified mucous membranes on the surface of the tongue that is moist pink tissue called mucosa is identified on the surface of tongue. So that is the most important character and which is locate, uh, located on the surface of the tongue. The next upper surface of tongue has small projections also identified. So if you see the tongue surface, on the surface of the tongue, we can identify some small projections. The small projections are also known as papillae. The papillae which are also known as taste buds. The tasting sense is provided with taste buds and they are also called as papillae. This here acts like universal toothbrush. Any unwanted metal which is placed between the teeth, that will be removed by the tongue. So that's why it is called as it acts like universal toothbrush. And next, what is the importance of tongue in the digestion process? Here, that is generally parts placed in the mixing of saliva with the food. So saliva will be produced by the tongue. The saliva is mixed with food. The mixing of saliva with food is provided with the tongue. And next, another function, taste detection. So whenever the person wants to take the food, the taste should be identified by using the tongue itself. And next deglutition. So after partial digestion or breakdown of food, so that has to be entered into the, uh, another part of alimentary canal. That alimentary canal receives the food mouth. So the mouth had a specific character tongue. The tongue can push the food into the next alimentary canal part. The pushing of food or peristaltic movement of food is provided with the tongue. Hence that function is also known as a deglutition and speaking. So everybody will speak and talk etc. The talking movement which is provided with the tongue itself, the movement of tongue gives the vibrations to the vocal cords and then we can speak easily or talk easily. So that is also provided with the tongue. So here we can see that the main four functions provided with the tongue that is one is mixing saliva with food, taste detection, deglutition and speaking are provided with tongue. And next, tongue consists of three types of papillae. So we, as we mentioned that in the beginning, so here uh, that is surface of tongue has small projections called taste buds or papillae. So here there are three types of papillae in the human beings. Here the first one is fungiform papillae. So fungiform papillae is there, and second one is filiform papillae, and third one is circumvalent papillae. So let us see what is fungiform papillae. So here, where they are located, what is the importance of that structure? So this is called as fungiform papillae. So they are located on the anterior margin of the tongue, tip of tongue. They are located on the anterior margin and tip of tongue, we can identify that fungiform papillae. So what is the importance of fungiform papillae in the human beings? Here, it helps in tasting the salty and sweets. So here, we can identify the taste centers on tongue. So here this is what are tip or that is anterior margin of the tongue. Here we can identify by using of anterior margin or by using of fungiform papillae which are located on this region. We can identify the sweet taste as well as salty taste. So that is provided with fungiform papillae. And second one that is filiform papillae. So where they are located you see. 
on the surface of tongue. So this is the surface of tongue. Here pungiform papilla look at this is anterior margin and tip of tongue here pungiform papilla present. And just above that, that is the surface of tongue. Here we can identify filiform papilla. So they are located on the surface of tongue. And what is the importance of filiform papilla in the human beings? Here they helps to taste sour and umami flavors. Umami flavor nothing but meaty taste. So that is provided with here filiform papilla, which are located on the surface of the tongue. And third one that is the most important character, circumvalid papilla. So where they are located, what is the importance? Let us say, so they are located on the posterior surface or base of tongue. This is the posterior surface or base of tongue. So there we can identify the circumvalid papilla. Here they are mentioned in the form of green color, they are called circumvalid papilla. And what is the importance of circumvalid papilla in the human beings? They are mainly helps to taste the bitter material. So when we have taken the bitter material, the taste is identified on the base of tongue. So that is provided the circumvalid papilla. So these are the characters and these are the structures present on the tongue and very much important for the partial digestion thing. And so the tongue is deglutition and next that is provided with some kind of enzymes like tyrin enzyme and then it also provides the mixing of saliva with food, taste detection, deglutition speaking, etc.